guys, guys, I am taken aback right now. I'm so flabbergasted. This lady just impressed me. You know, I'm gonna share this video with her. She's an amputee. I, I know say this lady doesn't look for sympathy from we. That's not what she's looking for. She's bold, she's eloquent, she's vibrant, she's energetic, she has potentials. Just because she's disabled, that means she lacks our abilities. She is just as able and capable as any one of who will get two hands and two foot. She has said it. The video is so eloquent. I'm going to let you guys listen to it, guys. Listen to this lady for herself. Very eloquent. Very, very eloquent. Now listen to her. I'll be right back. Represents me company woman then. Because I don't deal with them. They cut me foot at the age of 10, where I step on the landmines. And if I dare act today, I feel say nobody no going forever talk about the war. If they not talk about we when are the amputees, because we are the phases of the war. If they ever talk about any other thing, I think say we for be a priority so we can't see. Because nobody no one for be disabled, nobody no one for sick. But if war come, where some of we are be picking them, where we don't know nothing, what can happen. But yet we pay a price for her. I think say we can't see for be proud of we. Therefore, no say yes, we are a survivor. We're not so just a mere victim of the war, but we're an ambassador of peace. So therefore, respect we. We're not a babe. We don't want sympathy for the government. We just want with basic rights as any other person as alone. So let me get that. We know they have to go beg for the government. We know they have to go beg minister say, do you have to beg? We're already with the ask for now, we write. Re recently, we don't lost about seven or eight uh, um, amputees. Because of lack of medical, we not get free medical. In fact, when you get belly, you go to their hospitals. What they say? But you say, you sorry for you, say, you go get belly. So because the person don't disable, means say enough for born. Mm -hmm. When I write for born, yeah. so they don't neglect we. They don't yeah. talk, say we know they're part of the society. So what thing we they talk about today? The first thing we want for the papa government look into our free health care for amputees, war amputees. Because we don't suffer a lot during the war. We don't want for so far again because of medical we don't want to lose any one of the members there because of the neglect the negligence of the government let you know be let them take we as they you let them take we as any of them pick them if not they pick them they are the tender age them where they lost their leg they where they lost their hand they don't be for to eat them so not so we fault for that we lost with food, not so we go first, not so we create something, but we don't be at the consequence of everything. Yeah. We just want for that we be part of them. Let them give me what it belongs to me. Let them not see me like say we are beggars. We know so beggars. Some of you even capable pass the one the way they're going yes. to be yes. 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 But people like contact me. Eh, what's up with the dress? I say, eh, like seriously, because I don't be amputee, I'm not for dress. No, I mean, I just like any one of you now. I don't need for the go and dot see me say because. Hey, me not amputee, no, I don't accept her. Say me not amputee, not in order for change. What I'm happening now, one great disability I get when I'm caught foot, but I get past many abilities then. When I feel say, if me country and the government give me that opportunity today, I will do better. Maybe pass the one step where they see with yes. talent to food. So we first um, appeal to the government. We want to see a free health care for disabled war amputees. Both men and women, because we don't suffer a lot, we don't want to suffer again, we don't want to lose anybody. The second thing what we they talk about, we want inclusion in everything whether they do. We don't want to make them take decisions for we. If they, they do something for we, let we be part of the decision making. We don't want for be so that they can't food feed we. No, we want for be part of our we want for go out and feed. We get people that we don't we don't very well educate. They know they get job. When you go in the first way, they say, say we, we, we build the not disabled friendly. Imagine that. So when they even build with our uh, uh, offices, they will not even know say when I get disabled and as part of our community. But when election ten come, they want for come here we and give we fake promises and say we say we they do this, we don't want for you eat that. We beg we want for let with people then get employment. We want disabled people, they don't want for us to do for let us to can give you ten thousand, two thousand, or we want for be part for go fend that ten thousand and let we know what it means. For let we fend that. So we say something we need job employment. We don't want for us to do Guys, 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 Africa has to do better. Africa has to do better. These are some of the things we see. I, I, I'm not going to be able to champion a cause for the amputees anymore. Because we already know, say, we're working on the Philomena Yukela orphanage. That is my goal. I can't bite uh, too much, as much as I can chew. Somebody else, other folks are out there doing a good job, and I'm sure. 
But governments, these are the failures of government. And this is what I want points to African people, let me brothers and me sisters, them, young man and young woman. These are the failures of the leaders they hold on their points over all these years. Look, this lady, when I listen to him, please, when I listen to the big way, the big way they ask. I'm not gonna say she's begging, she's advocating because she wants us to know what they need. The people they don't need sympathy, they don't need we hand out, they don't need that five thousand or ten thousand. They just want to function like a normal human being. This lady is so intelligent. This lady could be anything she wants to be. I don't even know how far I go to school, but she sounds like she's college educated. She sounds like she's been in overseas, like she's lived in a first world country. I don't think that's the case, but if that's the case, awesome. But these people just need governments for intervening. Take care of them, guys. I'm going to make this challenge. NGC, somebody within the NGC party. When I get with the amputee organization, when I talk to them, let me see how we can able to help them as NGC members. What we can do for them? What they need? There's so many needs out there. There's a lot of problems. I can't take this on now. And I all know again, like I said, I'm working with her, Mrs. Jim Keller. We want to fight this child homelessness now we come to. We all that in as a result of bad governance over the years. For 60 some years, APCSL people, they failed our people. There's no systems in place for Africa for taking care of your disabled. If, they, if you're disabled, you're left behind. You're a non-entity. You're nothing. That's how, that's how they look at us. And we African people, we Sierra Leoneans, we have to change our mindset. We have to change our mentality. And say just because somebody is disabled, that means we should cast them away. They're castaways. They are done. They're not human beings. No. So guys, I know say you're just as touched as, as, as myself. I'm going to leave it right here. But maybe somebody will get in touch with these amputees. Them. Let we see how we can help them. What we can do to empower them. Lady, I don't know your name, but kudos to you and thank you. Because we need more people like you to come out and say these things. Call it for what it is. And maybe the government in place right now, the government in power right now will see this video and not take this lady just like another human being. Like just like oh, another one. Forget about them. I hope this government would put measures in place to take care of these amputee folks. These people should be able to have a community. They should build housing for them, accommodate them, give them skill sets, train them to do something. There's something that they can do to benefit themselves and benefit their family members. They don't need we hand out. They prepare don't need we one thousand or five thousand. They just want to function like us, any other complete human being. Thank you, lady, for pointing the light of this issue. Thank you. Guys, let's get to work, guys. NGC members, there's a lot to be done. We say we want to be the face of the uh, Sierra Leone, the face that people are going to look to and say, yes, we can rely on them. The work starts now. 2023 is coming. It's not a long ways away. We could. We have the power as NGC to put Dr. Yumkela as the president of that country. Salon people won't change. They're ready for it. But it's on us what we do now to get there. That is the key. So thank you, and all me amputee brothers, them. I want to say my, I'm so, I feel so sorry for her. My, my, my heart felt sympathies they go to her. But I know so I don't need sympathy for me when I just want to be empowered so I can function. Because you've accepted your situation as it is. You just need help to function like every other human being. Thank you, guys. Ibrahim. Bye-bye.